Today's painting is pretty special. It's me bringing back some shapes. I haven't painted shapes in a while, and honestly, I'm excited to have a painting come out that has shapes involved. I've been doing a lot of just knife swirl work, basically, and today I thought, you know what? I wanna end this painting with some objects that we're looking at. And in my mind, these objects look like children's building blocks, kind of in like a cool artsy way. <laughs> I don't know if that's the energy you're gonna get from this painting, but right now, if you can tell, I'm trying to start creating some shapes to work with. That yellow that I just covered up with all this white is gonna come back again and again. And I'm really trying to place all of these shapes in a way where you're not seeing like quadrants and you're not seeing like a line in the middle or a shape in the middle. I'm trying to keep you moving around the painting and I don't want it to feel like a rectangle. And what I mean by that is when you look at a painting sometimes, like say there's a square painting, you're like, oh, that painting is square. Like it immediately pops into your head. And what I'm trying to avoid is you looking at this painting and going, oh, this is a rectangular vertical painting. I want you to look at it and go, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. And I want the shape of the painting to kind of be on the back burner of your mind. <laughs> With that being said, all of these shapes here are gonna stay. And I love that oval. I love all the, the blocks just piecing each other together. And the whites here are pretty special too. I'm excited to get to these final shots. I haven't done too much of this like opaque pulling off with paper that I keep doing here, but I must say I love the effect. All in all, this is honestly one of my favorite paintings and my first shape painting in a while, so I'm pretty excited. Let's look at these final shots though. Hmm. Where do you think your eye rests? Because I'm pretty sure it rests right here on this circle. It keeps coming back to this circle. At the same time, I gotta admit, I think those colors are absolutely gorgeous. And this top left corner, you can see that spot, that white that has that little swirl, that's old. That was on that painting for a long time. That's an early layer. <sighs> this top right corner, the way that the yellow, the white and the blue and the brown and the green, oh, I, if you don't like that, uh, it's okay. <laughs> And the bottom left corner, I I just, I mean, honestly, the blues and then the browns. I feel like it's it's so 3D looking. Am I crazy? I don't know, <laughs> might be. The bottom right corner, this is that opaque look I'm talking about. You can see through it, there's texture, there's circular texture, there's, there's, oh, we're moving on. <laughs> These next few shots could be paintings themselves. The red sitting in all these pale yellow colors, oof. Pretty nice. And then of course the blue here, just behind this pale bone white. Told you I was gonna bring it back. Here we are. This red triangle sticking in here, all these subtle colors around it. And of course this yellow little guy right here. Almost a lightning bolt kind of painting if you ask me. Last but not least, I just want to show you that little blue spot. That's been there a while too. All in all, I love this painting. Really appreciate you being here. And good energy is being sent your way. So, have a good day.